lovelies, my name is Tony, and welcome to my channel. If you've never been here, check out a few of my videos and see what you think and consider subscribing. If you are not new here and you're an old subscriber, then thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. So I don't know if any of you guys have ever heard this story. I heard it a long time ago and I adore this story. It's such a cute little story. And I said that about all of my stories, but I swear this one's really cute. Um, and it's got a good lesson behind it too. So I guess we'll get right in. Once a little boy was playing outdoors and found a fascinating caterpillar. He carefully picked it up and took it home to show his mother. He asked his mother if he could keep it, and she said he could keep it as long as he would take good care of it. The little boy got a large jar from his mother and put plants to eat and a stick to climb on in the jar. Every day he watched the caterpillar and brought it new plants to eat. One day the caterpillar climbed up onto the stick and started acting strangely. The boy worriedly called his mother, who came and understood that the caterpillar was creating a cocoon. The mother explained to the boy how the caterpillar was going to go through metamorphosis and become a butterfly. The little boy was thrilled to hear about the changes his caterpillar would go through. He watched every day waiting for the butterfly to emerge, and one day it happened. A small hole appeared on the cocoon and the butterfly started to struggle to come out. At first the boy was excited, but soon he became concerned. The butterfly was struggling so hard to get out, it looked like it couldn't break free. It looked so desperate. It looked like it was making no progress. The boy was so concerned he decided to help. He ran to get some scissors and then walked back because he learned not to run with scissors and snipped the cocoon to make the hole bigger and the butterfly quickly emerged. As the butterfly came out, the boy was surprised. It had a swollen body and small shriveled wings. He continued to watch the butterfly, expecting that at any moment the wings would dry out, enlarge, and expand to support the swollen body. He knew that in time the body would shrink and the butterfly's wings would expand. But it never happened. The butterfly spent the rest of its life crawling around with a swollen body and shriveled wings. It never learned to fly. <laughs> As the boy tried to figure out what had gone wrong, his mother took him to talk to a scientist from a local college. He learned that the butterfly was supposed to struggle. In fact, the butterfly struggled to push its way out through the tiny opening of the cocoon pushes the fluid out of its body and into its wings. Without the struggle, the butterfly would never, ever fly. The boy's good intentions had hurt the butterfly. And here's the moral of the story. As you go through school and life, keep in mind that struggling is an important part of any growth experience. In fact, it is the struggle that causes you to develop your ability to fly. So I think that was such a cute little story. You want to come up here with me? You want to come up here and, 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 and say hi to everybody? Say hello, my name is Lulu. Hi! <laughs> but I think that's such a cute story and I'm glad that I came across it. My mom actually sent it to me. Because um, she knows that I'm doing this and she likes to help. So, But... Um, so my mom sent that story to me and I was really glad that I came across it because um, it's right, you know, growth is a big, or struggle is a big part of growth. Um, and without the struggles in your life, you wouldn't be who you are today. So I think it's a really important lesson to learn um, or to have in your life. Even if you're the kind of person like I am that has to learn from experience more so than learning from other people's mistakes. Um, so, but... That's that, so you want to say goodbye to everybody now? All right, tell them that if they like the video, to give it a big thumbs up. If they know anybody that wants to watch the video, then tell them to share it. <laughs> and if you want to see more content like this, then go ahead and subscribe. And if you have any ideas for future videos, um, like uh, short stories or questions you want to ask or challenge ideas that you might have. Um, I'll probably do those in the future. I'm not trying to play with you right now. You're being very obnoxious. I love you. Um, then go ahead and leave those down in the comments below. And I will see you guys in Monday's video. Bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>